Hello friends, welcome back to this rapid revision series where we are covering the current affairs from geography. This is part 3. Hope you have seen the other two parts and in this part we are going to cover the last one and a half year current affairs from the flora, fauna and crops. From mainly from this area, what are the current affairs that we have, we are going to cover all of this. So, let's start. First, the protected special agriculture zone. Recently, it was in news because Tamil Nadu CM has declared Kaveri Delta as the protected agriculture zone. So this is mainly to protect the area surrounding the Kaveri Delta. Okay, the Kaveri flows, it originates in Karnataka and it flows through Tamil Nadu and it joins the Bay of Bengal Sea. So, Kaveri River Management Authority has been constituted to resolve the disputes between the Karnataka and the Tamil Nadu. Okay, that is about Kaveri River. Next one, golden butterfly where tea variety was in use. The golden butterfly tea variety, you know, it was auctioned at the Gauhati Tea Auction Center. And this has created a history of, by selling 1 kg of the golden butterfly tea at Rs. 75,000. 1 kg was sold at 75,000. It is produced by Decom Tea Estate near the Diburger. It is made up of tea buds and not tea leaves. It is made up of tea buds. That is why this is important. Golden butterfly. Next one, climate vulnerability map of India. The climate vulnerability map of India is to, you know, map all the important vulnerable areas in India. This is a project under the Ministry of Science and Technology and Swiss Agency for Development Cooperation. Remember, between DST and Swiss Agency for Development Cooperation, the climate vulnerability map of India. This is part of the national mission for sustaining the Himalayan ecosystem and a national mission on strategic knowledge for climate change. Okay, this is the mission under part of that and this will be developed by the Union Ministry of Science and Technology and the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation. Next one, Shola grasslands was in use. Shola grassland, the Shola vegetation is found in the Western Ghats. It is found in the Western Ghats. It is separated by rolling glass grasslands in the high altitudes. Separated by rolling grasslands in the higher altitudes. The Shola grasslands consist of dwarf trees growing 25 to 30 feet. You know, it consists of dwarf trees growing 25 to 30 feet. The Nilgiris, you know, upper region is classified as Southern Grassland Mountain. So, this Nilgiris, you know, on top of this Nilgiris, the Shola grasslands are found. You know, between 1973 and 2014, Shola grassland area has seen 66% decline. The Shola grasslands is, is in the southern part of India. It is in the Nilgiris, in the Western Ghats. Okay, these are the tropical mountain forest. Tropical mountain forest. Okay, next one, the Shiru Lili Festival. The Shiru Lili Festival was inaugurated in Manipur. Where it is inaugurated? It is inaugurated in Manipur. And it is a five day annual festival celebrated there in order to promote the tourism. In order to promote the tourism, uh, this uh, Sh Shiru Lili Fest, Shiru Lili is an important flower. It is a state flower of Manipur. Shiru Lili is a state flower of Manipur. And this festival is celebrated in order to raise awareness about this flower and also it is to promote the tourism in the state of Manipur. Because as we know, the Northeast India has a great potential for tourism, but still we did not exploit the Northeastern region. So that is why it is very important for us in order to exploit this, exploit all the potential that it has. And also we have to make sure that we, we conserve or we preserve the important flowers and trees along with animals of that region. <coughs> Next one, Suvin was in use. What is Suvin? Suvin is the finest quality of extra long staple cotton produced in Tamil Nadu. So, Suvin is the, the finest quality of cotton produced in Tamil Nadu. Okay. So, that is why this is important. Remember, Suvin is a cotton. It is a type of cotton produced in Tamil Nadu. Next, Malabar tree load was in use. What is this Malabar tree toad? It is a very, very rare species of amphibian and it is endemic to Western Ghats. This Malabar tree toad is a rare species located in the Western Ghats. It is an endangered species that spends most of the life on trees. That is the Malabar tree toad. It is a very rare species. And it comes to the, it generally spends its time on the trees. It comes to the ground only during the first monsoon showers to mate. That is the Malabar tree toad. It is endemic to Western Ghats. Next one, Pliosaur. Pliosaur is the largest aquatic carnivore reptile that has ever lived. Largest aquatic carnivore reptile. Okay, it is often dubbed as steam sea monsters. It is currently extinct. But why this was in news? Because recently the, the, we have seen, we have recently discovered their bones in a cornfield in Polish village of, of Kirzanovice. Kirzanovice. Okay. 
that is why this is important so pilosaur is the largest aquatic carnivore that has ever lived next one the kaleshwaram multi purpose lift irrigation project this is situated in telangana this was constructed in telangana so it was inaugurated by the chief minister of telangana k chandrasekhar rao it is the world's largest irrigation and drinking water system it is the world's largest lift irrigation project the kaleshwaram lift irrig multi purpose lift irrigation project this is in the upstream influence of the confluence of it is upstream in the confluence of pranahita and the godavari rivers okay it is situated on the pranahita and the godavari rivers next dibang multi purpose project was in news it will be constructed over the dibang river it is situated in arunachal pradesh it is a multi purpose project and if it is constructed this will be the highest dam constructed by india once it is completed okay so dibang multi purpose project in arunachal pradesh over the dibang river so dibang river is one of the river one of the tributary of brahmaputra river so we will see in a separate lecture the important tributaries of important rivers like ganga brahmaputra and all okay next the second riverine multimodal terminal was built at sahibag in jharkhand sahibag in jharkhand so this is along the national waterway 1 as we know the national waterway 1 is from the uttar pradesh to kolkata that is west bengal it is built under the jal vikas mark aided by world bank the first multimodal terminal last year we have seen it has been constructed at varanasi over river ganga and this this sahibang sahibganj sorry the sahibganj is the second river and multimodal terminal it is the second one so ganga bagirathi hugli river system from alhabad to haldia alhabad to haldia it is the national waterway one from alhabad to haldia in the ganga river system so here you can see the national waterway one here you can see in this image alhabad to haldia national waterway one the second national waterway two is in brahmaputra dubri to sarya is the national waterway two next you can see here the national waterway 3 kollam to kotapuram remember kollam to kotapuram national waterway 4 the godavari and krishna canals the interlinking of them is the national waterway 4 the national waterway 5 the brahmani delta and the canals in the odisha region national waterway 6 is lakhipur to banga which is in process the mainly currently which are finished which are almost the work is going on at a fast pace in the national waterway 1 and national waterway 2 that is the haldia to alhabad in 20 kilometers from ahilya to alhabad is the national waterway 1 and the national waterway 2 that is from dubri to sadia in the brahmaputra river basin okay next one kane betwa interlinking project was in news the kane betwa interlinking project is to is to interlink kane and betwa is to interlink kane and betwa it is mainly it is mainly to transfer the surplus water from kane river in madhya pradesh to betwa in up So remember, transferring water from Kane to Betwa is the main purpose. Kane to Betwa. So there is Panna Tiger Reserve in Madhya Pradesh, and this Panna Tiger Reserve it will be merged to an extent. So that is why this was in news. Okay, the Kane Betwa is the country's first interlinking project. It is India's first river interlinking project, and this is to link Kane and Betwa. It transfer the excess water from Kane to Betwa. Remember that Kane to Betwa. Next, Polvaram project was in news. Polvaram Polvaram project is being built in Andhra Pradesh. It is a national project. Okay, it is built over the Godavari River in Andhra Pradesh, in the West Godavari district and the East Godavari district. It, the river, the reservoir of this river of this uh, project, basically, it covers the famous Papikonda National Park. That is why this is important. Papikonda National Park, Polvaram project in Andhra Pradesh. It is a multi-purpose lift. not lift irrigation normal irrigation project multi purpose irrigation project next sisiri river bridge it was inaugurated recently the sisiri river bridge is in arunachal pradesh at the lower dibang valley arunachal pradesh lower dibang valley built by border roads organization under the project brahmank project brahmank border road organization arunachal pradesh and it is at the lower dibang valley that is about sisiri river bridge sisiri river bridge in arunachal pradesh next one uj multi purpose project the uj multi purpose project is constructed in the khatwa district of jammu and kashmir uj multi purpose project in khatwa district of jammu and kashmir remember that khatwa district of jammu and kashmir and it is built on the river uj which is a major tributary of river ravi uj which is a major tributary of river ravi and uh, the project after completion will enhance the utilization of water of eastern rivers allotted to india as per the indus water treaty 
Uji River originates in the Kailash Mountains. So, Indus Water Treaty is a water treaty mediated by, between, by the World Bank between India and Pakistan. According to this Indus Water Treaty, in the Indus River system, we have six rivers where Indus, Jhelum, and Chena. These waters, the water from this belongs to Pakistan and Ravi, Bees, and Satlaj. India have complete authority over these three rivers, Ravi, Bees, and Satlaj. Because Pakistan is a lower riparian country, and India, because of the goodwill, India has accepted this Indus River, Indus uh, Water Treaty. So the project, this Uj multi-purpose project, which is a national project, it will be built in the Khatwar district of Jammu and Kashmir on the river Uj. So this will enhance the utilization of waters because India can use the waters for the run of the river projects. Run of the river projects means the projects where we are not storing any water. We are just utilizing the water for the needs that is called the run of the river projects. So in this run of the river projects, India is going to use this. Next one, Yamuna water taxi project. The Yamuna Water Taxi Project has been conceived as an integrated development project combining several functions like terminal development and vessel operation. So Yamuna Water Taxi Project it is simply like it is a water taxi. It, is, it combines several functions that is for transportation and everything. Okay, This project covers total length of 16 kilometers comprising of 5 locations on the bank of river Yamuna. So Yamuna river system, what is that? What are the different rivers that we have? We will see that in a different lecture where we will cover the whole Ganga river system. Okay, that is about the Yamuna water taxi project. Next one, interlinking of rivers, Kosi Mech was in news. So, recently, the interlinking of uh, Kosi and the Mechi river, the Kosi and the Mechi river was in news. This is the second country's second major interli river interlinking project after Kane Betwa of Madhya Pradesh and between Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. This river interlinking, this interlinking of river will happen in Bihar. So both Kosi and Mechi are the transboundary rivers between India and Nepal. So they will be linked in Bihar. Okay. Now let's revise what we have uh, covered till now. So first we have seen about the protect, special protected area agriculture zone. It, Tamil Nadu has declared the Kaveri River Delta as a special protected agriculture zone. Next, we have seen about golden butterfly. Golden butterfly is a variety of tea that has that has uh, you know auctioned at seventy five thousand rupees per kg. It is produced by the Daikom Tea Estate in Assam. Next one, climate vulnerability map of India. It is between the Department of Science and Technology under Union Ministry of Science and Technology and Swiss Agency for Development Cooperation between DST and Swiss Agency. Next one, Shola grasslands. The Shola grasslands are situated in the Nilgiris, Nilgiris in Tamil Nadu. Okay, the Shola grasslands are the tropical grasslands, or you can say there is the mountain tropical grasslands. Next one, the Shishru Lily Festival, Shishru Lily Festival in Manipur, and Shishru Lily flower is the state flower of Manipur. Next one, Suvin. Suvin is the cotton, it's the finest quality of extra long cotton which is produced in Tamil Nadu. Suvin is the cotton quality, the best cotton in Tamil Nadu. Next, Malabar tree toad. The Malabar tree toad, it is an amphibian endemic to Western Ghats. It is a rare species of amphibian, amphibian endemic to Western Ghats. It is an endangered species. Remember, it is an endangered species and it lives mostly on the trees. It comes to the ground only during the monsoon shower for mating. So that is about the Malabar tree toad. Next one, Pliosaur. Pliosaur was in use because recently we have found the bones of Pliosaur in, Poly in Poland. This pleosaur is the largest aquatic carnivores ever lived. The pleosaur is the largest aquatic carnivores. It is also dubbed as sea monster. Currently, it is extinct. Next, Kaleshwara multi-purpose lift irrigation project in Telangana. It is the largest lift irrigation project in the world between Pranahita and the Godavari rivers. Pranahita is a tributary of Godavari river. Next, Dibang multi-purpose project. The Dibang multi-purpose project is in Arunachal Pradesh. It's a multi-purpose river project. This will be built once after it is completed. It will be the highest dam in India. Next, India's second river in multi terminal was built in Sahibang in Jharkhand. The National Waterway 1 between Haldia or you can say between Allahabad and Haldia. So, recent last year, the first terminal was built at Varnasim. This year, the second terminal was built at Sahibganj in Jharkhand. 
साहिबगंज इन झारखंड सो नेशनल वाटर वे वन बिटवीन हल्दिया एंड अलाहाबाद नेशनल वाटर वे टू बिटवीन धुबरी एंड सरिया ऑन द ब्रह्मपुत्र रिवर बेसिन एंड नेशनल वाटर वे थ्री बिटवीन द कोलम कोटापुरम इन केरला दिस थ्री आर इनफ नेक्स्ट वन केन बेतवा इंटरलिंकिंग प्रोजेक्ट वॉज इन न्यूज इट इज टू लिंक केन एंड बेतवा टू ट्रांसफर एक्सेस वाटर फ्रॉम केन टू बेतवा इट इट इवन इट इवन सिंक्स सम ऑफ द पोर्शन फ्रॉम पन्ना टाइगर रिजर्व इन मध्य प्रदेश नेक्स्ट पोलवरम प्रोजेक्ट वॉज इन न्यूज पोलवरम प्रोजेक्ट इज बिल्ड इन आंध्र प्रदेश ओवर द गोदावरी रिवर इट ऑल्सो कवर्स द फेमस पापेकोंडा नेशनल पार्क नेक्स्ट वन सिसरी रिवर ब्रिज सिसरी रिवर ब्रिज वॉज इनाग्रेटेड इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश सिसरी रिवर ब्रिज इज इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश एंड इट इज एट द लोअर दिबंग वैली बिल्ड बाई द बॉर्डर रोड ऑर्गनाइजेशन अंडर द प्रोजेक्ट ब्रह्मांक नेक्स्ट उज मल्टीपर्पज प्रोजेक्ट द उज मल्टीपर्पज प्रोजेक्ट इज इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर ओके इट इज ओवर द ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ रावी नेक्स्ट यमुना वाटर टैक्सी प्रोजेक्ट इज ओवर द यमुना टू फॉर द डिफरेंट फंक्शन नियर द टर्मिनल्स नेक्स्ट इंटरलिंकिंग ऑफ रिवर कोसी एंड मेची द इंटरलिंकिंग विल हैपन इन बिहार एंड द कैबिनेट हैज अप्रूव दिस दिस विल बी द सेकंड इंटरलिंकिंग प्रोजेक्ट आफ्टर द केन बेतवा इंटरलिंकिंग प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो दैट्स इट फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर आई सी यू अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर टिल देन कीप स्टडिंग एंड स्टेट यून जय हिंद